Here is a full detailed narrative of the true story of Homo erectus mastering fire. Based on the latest archaeological evidence, the world, 1.5 million years ago, the scene is not a single event, but a slow stumbling dawn over hundreds of thousands of years. The world is in the grip of the Pleistocene Ice Ages. In what we now call East Africa, the landscape is a patchwork of savanna grasslands, scattered acacia woodlands, and volcanic highlands. Megafauna roam the land, towering elephants, fierce saber-toothed cats, and herds of antelope. For our ancestors Homo erectus, life is precarious. They are tall, lean, and fully bipedal, with large brains capable of complex thought and social structure. They are sophisticated tool makers, crafting elegant symmetrical hand axes, Acheulean tools, that are a massive leap from the crude flakes of their predecessors. But as the sun sets, a profound darkness falls and with it a deep primal fear. The night is a realm of predators. The chilling chorus of hyenas, the rasping cough of a leopard, the silent swoop of an owl, all are constant reminders of their place in the food chain. The cold is biting. Without fur, they huddle together for warmth, their teeth chattering. Their diet is primarily raw, tubers, roots, raw meat, and marrow, which require immense energy to chew and digest. The first encounters, fear and fascination. For generations, fire was not a tool, but a terrifying force. They witnessed it rage across the savanna after a lightning strike, a roaring, consuming beast that moved faster than any animal. They saw it spew from the peaks of volcanoes like Mount Olorgesailie in the Kenyan Rift Valley. They smelled the acrid smoke and saw the charred remains of trees and animals in its wake. Their first instinct was flight. But at a safe distance, fascination grew. They noticed things. After the fire passed, the land was cleared, making it easier to walk and spot predators or prey. They stumbled upon the carcasses of animals caught in the blaze. The meat was different. It was easier to chew, richer in flavor, and strangely, it seemed to fill them up faster and for longer. They might have tentatively picked at a cooked leg of an antelope, their minds making a slow subconscious connection. This was the first step, opportunistic scavenging from natural fires. They learned to track the smoke on the horizon, not to avoid it, but to exploit it. They were not yet masters, but beneficiaries of a natural phenomenon. The leap from scavenging to curating. The critical evolutionary leap was moving from simply using wildfires to actively curating fire. This is where the evidence from sites like Wonderwork Cave in South Africa and Chesawanja in Kenya becomes crucial. Imagine a small band of Homo erectus tracking a wildfire. As the rain begins to fall, they see the main blaze die down, but a large log continues to smolder, emitting a warm, gentle glow. Instead of moving on, one particularly curious 